Hey my beautiful shining stars, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know, St. Patrick's Day is one of my favorite holidays, so I created this colorful look in celebration. Starting off with the eyes, I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer, applying it all over my eye area and blending it in with a makeup sponge. This is going to help the eyeshadows I apply stick and pop. Taking my Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette, I am going to apply the shimmery light green to the inner corner of my eyes. Next, using my Liquid Glitter Shadow in Lemon Zest, I'm going to place it right over. And for even more sparkle, I'm going to go over it with my J-Cat's Chromatic Pigments in Supreme Beam. I want it to look like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Speaking of rainbow, I am starting off with the red of the Roy G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Using my Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions palette, I'm going to be applying it right underneath the start of my eyebrow and down towards the inner corner of my eye, but not going over it. Using the orange colors from my NYX Off Topic palette, I'm going to apply it right next to the red. Then I'm going to be using the yellow shadow, blending each color into the next. Oopsie! My set is falling apart back there. Back to the Emerald Obsessions palette, I'm going to be applying that green, which happens to be my favorite color. Then taking the Sapphire Obsessions palette, I'm going to be using these two colors as the blue and indigo in my rainbow. And finally, using the Amethyst Obsessions palette, I never could say that right. For my violet, working it into the lower lash line and the outer corner. Then I'm going to try to mimic the shadows that I used above the eye, down below to the lower lash line. And to make things even more magical, I am taking my NYX Roll On Shimmer and applying it all over the rainbow. Ooh, so sparkly. Now taking my Glitzy Glitter in Limelight and some Glitter Primer from NYX, I'm going to apply this glitter right over the green shadows on my lid and under the lash line. And I'm going to do the same thing for the yellow shadow using my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner in Midnight Cowboy. Woohoo! Yippee kaye! Next, I'm going to line my waterline using my NYX's Off Tropic Liner in Bamboo. Aw yeah! With my LA Girl Shockwave Liner in Blackout, I'm going to wing out the top lash line to kind of pull this very colorful look together. Then I'm going to add some depth and dimension using the darker green shadows from my Emerald Obsessions palette blending it into the outer crease area. And taking a light cream shadow, I'm going to apply it to the brow bone, just using it to blend in the colors a bit. Now I'm going to curl my lashes for some lift. Then I'm going to apply some black mascara from Too Faced, starting at the base of the lash line and wiggling upwards. And adding in some falsies, applying with some lash glue and adjusting with tweezers. Wa-bam! I'm going to be using my Vanish Liquid Foundation from Hourglass that I have been loving. Applying it with a brush and then blending it in with my makeup sponge. Going back to that Too Faced Born This Way concealer, I want to apply it to the areas that I want highlighted. Forehead, bridge of nose, tip of nose, under eyes, cupid's bow, and chin. Durr! And I'm just blending it all together with my makeup sponge. 
to contour, I'm going to be using my Cover FX Concealer in N Deep 1. Then, I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever's Custom Palette for bronzer, blush, and highlight. With my CoverGirls Ultra Fine Brow Pencil, I'm going to shape and fill in my brows. Then I'm going to pack everything in using my translucent face powder from Huda Beauty. For my lips, I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever Lip Pencil in N23. And filling them in with my Lottie London's Lip Foil in Dropout, which has a gorgeous green tint to it. To complete this colorful St. Patrick's Day look, I am going to be using these really cute sparkly shamrock stickers from Icings. Story time! So when I was a wee little lass, my mom would decorate the house in clovers, make delicious corned beef and cabbage, and we would watch movies like The Quiet Man and Darby O'Gill and the Little People. At church, we learned about St. Patrick and how he spread the gospel in Ireland and would use the shamrock to explain the Holy Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Ooh, I love it. And there is my St. Patrick's Day inspired look. I really hope you guys liked it. Ever since I was a little girl, I have been obsessed with Ireland. I've always dreamed of going to the land of rolling green hills and cobblestone roads. So I was incredibly happy when I recently found out that Jacob is part Irish. So we are super excited for baby Lyric Michael to celebrate his very first St. Patrick's Day. 